Hi, I'm Oleg Mikhailov. I'm a graphic and printmaker and I do lithography and woodcut etching. Not but lithography is my favorite printmaking technique. Uh, to work with a stone. This stone came from very ancient ocean as a shells and so now I'm feeling close to the ocean. This reminds me my childhood dreams. And I, now I'm really happy because I decided to combine my art and my passion in the underwater world. The fishing is pear fishing. And you can see under my artworks this topic. I learned uh, printmaking during my education in, in uh, St. Petersburg Academy of Art. And I choose this technique uh, because it's close to real drawing. It's uh, not so specific like woodcut, for example. And um, I really like this uh, creativity opportunities as a rich, many, many uh, kind of technique skills you can use. As a, as a crayon drawing, as a brush painting, as a scratching. And um, you can combine it under one artwork. It's good for me. It's not one stone for one artist. It's the stones based on the printmaking workshop and uh, artist came for work and work. And uh, after the printing, printing, the master printer polish the stone and give it to a new artist for a new project and the stones absorb the artist uh, energy probably it's good printmaking process is very important for me it was a teamwork with a master printer and I spent three months in printmaking workshop sometimes it was a hard work but I'm always happy with this. is a is a very important part of my life because uh, I think um, that if the artist spend whole time in the own studio, um, eye to eye with the artwork, it could be uh, could make artists a little crazy. The artist should be sociable is important for me and I, I like to spend uh, half time in the studio eye to eye with the canvas and or stone or paper it doesn't matter and the half with the friends and uh, it's like a teamwork like something like this yeah in hermitage I spent many times in my childhood is a uh, the, this museum have a, has a very good collection of all the world painting and one of my favorite uh, was a floor with impressionism and I remember the paintings that time I think oh it's very easy I can do it it's not it's not Rembrandt it's not <laughs> It's not very complicated. It's just lines on the yellow background and looks like children's artwork. But now I understand that this is a genius work. It's really good. It's so many years I am inspired of them. As Buffet is a um, fisherman's shop. And um, the main subject for me was uh, Stingray. This fish has a very uh, unusual form, it's like square. And I bring this from the childhood and now I realize it in several of my artworks. I, I did a Chinese seafood market um, and um, now in Gyeongsi series you can see also. <laughs> The first impression is too much decoration. With the second visit, 
and it was uh, more interesting because this I can concentrate it on the details. I, I saw the full image before and the second time I tried to find what is close to me. And I, I saw the many oriental stuff. Victor Hugo also likes the Chinese and Japanese culture. I see, oh, it's good for me. I can, it's, it's close to me. And his working place is amazing. Just artist and the sea and the view of, the perfect view. You can see behind the writer, the octopus is a huge monster and his tentacles I try to make uh, exactly uh, like under his drawing and uh, of course I did my own octopus but I, mm, I base it on under his drawing and, and another, uh, another thing is a chair of Victor Hugo he sit on the big uh, H letter and I found it on his uh, kitchen in the Autoville house. It uh, is, a, is a very good object for me. And I think his, uh, his details speak, speaks about his temper a lot. I think is important. <laughs> of course, it's Gyonzi, is the main inspiration. And uh, what I see, uh, the first, what you, what you see at firstly is the main, always, whole of human life. If you, you did something first time, this is the main inspiration. And I came to Gyonzi and the second day, ah, first day, I'm, David showed me uh, the view of, to the fortress from the hill. I saw the fortress and David said, this is a St. Peter's port. And I think, oh, I'm an artist from St. Petersburg. I came to St. Peter's port. And we going down to the restaurant and uh, David uh, um, offered to me to order John Dory fish. And he said, this is a St. Peter's fish. You should to try. Hey, I tried. It. It's very good fish and is trade, trade inspiration. St. Peter Petersburg artist came to St. Petersburg and eat the St. Peter fish. As it was a, a bit funny, but I, I like it. I like, uh, all, I always like to combine the, the serious meaning with the humor in my artworks, because the, if the artist too much serious, it looks funny.